best thing I liked about tonight, the little boy that was scatting in the commercial. Oh my God, I can't even remember how you did it, but oh, I want to remember, it was so good, it was so cute. Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, robertanton.com, coming to you with your no-frills American Idol commentary from a singer. Tonight we had the top seven singing rock classics, and they could not do any ballads. But that didn't stop them. <laughs> Supposedly they couldn't do any ballads, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. I saw Joshua Ledette in the audience while the judges were coming out, and Orianti was backing the idols tonight on guitar. And I first saw Orianti, or she came into my consciousness when I went to see Adam Lambert. She was on tour with Adam Lambert, and I really, really enjoyed her. So we got a skit before each performance of the idols tonight describing their fellow contestants. I'm sure it's going to be on YouTube, so catch that if you can. Bernell Taylor started out the night with You Give Love a Bad Name by Bon Jovi, and he actually started in the little pit, you know, down in front of the stage, so he had to walk to center, and you know I like that, y'all. Y'all know I was glad that he finally got the move, right? And he did more than that, so I was happy with him for that. And there was Orianti with the green guitar. He did okay with the song, but it didn't really show off his voice or style. And he came off just a little stiff and wasn't really into the spirit of the song. A little too reserved for me. He could have had so much more fun with this. He said rock and roll is not his thing, and he looked uncomfortable. Nikki said he was still lovable to her. Randy said everything was behind the beat. Angie Miller and Lazaro Arbos did Crazy Little Thing Called Love by Queen. And Lazaro started out and wasn't too bad. A little hard to hear over the music. Then Angie came down the stairs. Well, in a way, you know we could hear her, no problem. They actually did pretty good on this, but Angie's energy kind of blew Lazaro out of the water. Nikki called them Ken and Barbie and pointed out that he forgot the lyrics again. Randy said Angie was amazing. Mariah said Angie was very supporting and the last note was a nice moment. Keith said it was a bit variety show-ish. Then Cree Harrison did Peace of My Heart by Janis Joplin. I like how she started it out with the big note and then dropped it into the uh, verse. It was very, very nice. Just a nice little arrangement coming in. I like when you start out strong and then you can go down and then come back up. So that was very nice for me. It's crazy how this seems so high in everyone else's voice and didn't even seem to challenge Cree. I mean, not at all. She was just like, whoop. I think she could have taken the key even higher to make it more rough, you know, in her voice. She was kind of coasting in this as far as I was concerned. Randy said he feels like the show finally started and he loves seeing the bluesy side of her. Mariah said she's a true artist because she has an innate ability to choose her songs. Keith noticed that she was kind of holding back and she told him she had a pinched nerve. So that's maybe why it looked to me like she was coasting. And Nikki said it was magnificent. Even her coasting is better than a lot of them's like full out performance because she she just has so much range and I think she needs to pick a few songs that really show off all of this way up there that she can do you know she don't got to do it all all the time every single time but sometimes it just seems people might be watching and think oh you know she's not really bringing any energy or excitement to this just a beautiful wide range these two kind of reminds me of um Haley Reinhardt kind of reminds me of Haley Reinhardt having all this range and people not you know really giving her props for what she had Bernell Taylor and Candace Glover performed The Letter Together by The Box Tops. Bernell started it out and did a decent vocal. Then Candace came in with fierceness, I'm telling you. They had a nice blend when they sang harmony, and his gruff started to shine through while she took the lead with her ad libs. Each held their own very well and did what they do best. Mariah said they both proved they can sing anything. Keith said Bernell was a shining star and Candace was a galaxy. Nikki said Candace's voice is clearly superior and it pierces through everything on the planet. Randy said it was much better from him and oh my god from Candace. If you're enjoying the commentary, please make sure to thumb it up, thumb it up for me. And like I said yesterday, if you ain't enjoying it, thumb it up anyway for me. Help a brother out, you know? <laughs> Oh, just let me know that you're watching and that you're at least getting some information here. All right. Next, Janelle did You May Be Right by Billy Joel. And I love this song. And she came out with a nice attitude and totally reminded me of a country goddess. I mean, just totally confident, vested in the material. Not very exciting, but solid. Keith said she came out like a professional and performed, though it wasn't the best song for her to do, and called her a contender. Nikki said it's a rock performance and she's still hearing her country twang. Randy said 
he felt like this was a concert Janelle, Mariah said she really loved this key in her voice and her vibrato really popped in it. Lazaro Arbos is up next. He did We Are The Champions by Queen. I was ready for this to be a disaster. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. So I really was not disappointed. The vocal was a little flat in the verses but got a little better in the chorus sometimes. You know, he still has a tendency. He was trying to bring some intensity, you know, by really hitting things in places, but it never really got off the ground for me. Nikki said it was giving her some Hispanic teas and she was loving it. Randy said he did a good job. Mariah said it was a great choice and he got a chance to relax in the song. Keith said it was a good song choice, but that played into his dramatics. And it is not really an up-tempo song, but, you know, it worked for him. <laughs> Amber, Janelle, and Cree performed a little girl group thing for us. It's still Rock and Roll to Me by Billy Joel. And the girls all got a little time to solo performance on this. They sounded good to me together on this. The harmonies were on point. And I was thinking that there must be more people doing the harmonies in the background or something because it didn't sound like it was just two of them, you know, when one was singing lead. It sounded like there was more people on the harmonies to me. Randy said it was unbelievable and he thought they were a group. Mariah said nice blending on the backgrounds. Nikki said the song put her to sleep because it was so cheesy but raved about Amber's styling. Candace Glover did Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones and this is a really big song and perfectly fit for Candace's voice in my opinion. Even with the tempo racing and a broken toe, <laughs> she found places to put her spit on the melody, to make her little changes, to do her little riffs. I thought she would have been a little bigger on the ending, you know, like she always kind of stops it and does her riffs and stuff like that. This one she just stopped it on a dime and was finished. So I was kind of, I was kind of like waiting for some more. I wanted some more of it to piece. You know what I'm saying? Mariah said it was mesmerizing to watch her. Key said her voice is so good and she wails up with so much power that never wanes. Nikki said she fell asleep to that song. Huh? I ain't understand that. What, what do y'all think? I think Nikki must have just been sleepy tonight or something because I don't know how you fall asleep to that one. Randy said rock is an attitude and he loved that she brought the attitude to it in a Tina Turner kind of way, but it wasn't the perfect song choice for her. Ryan talked to Orianthe a little bit about her album, which is called Heaven in This Hell and about playing along with all the idols and all that and how she had to learn all this music in 24 hours. I think she did a great job. She didn't do too much. She didn't do too little. Just perfect. Just professional. Amber Holcomb, next up, did What About Love by Heart, who are being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year. Congratulations. This is a rock ballad. I'm sorry, it just is. And I guess they consider it a mid-tempo instead of slow, so I guess that's cool. Amber was showing legs tonight and bringing out her inner rock chick. I could have used more facial emotion, but the vocal was very, very good, and three judges stood for her, not Mariah. Keith said, great song choice, and the key change was killer. Nikki said this pulled her in emotion and the first line completely melted her and called it her favorite of the night. Randy said he loved that she didn't lose Amber in the song. Mariah said she did a great job and she could hear all her natural inflections. Joshua Ledet and Holly Cavanaugh were in the audience. I think I told you I saw Joshua before and Ryan talked to them for a few minutes. Joshua is performing at the White House soon. Congratulations. <laughs> I've been wanting to use that. I can't get it right. Uh, and they're both working in the studio. Last up tonight we had Angie Miller with Bring Me to Life by Evan Essence, and she sat at the piano to start out like the judges have been begging her to do. Stared into the camera and gave us some drama. I felt like she got a little bird in the mix when the uh, when the big parts of this song started once the tempo really kicked in. I'd like to hear more of her vocal because she was really on top of it. Very dramatic with the wind machine and a big note in there. I loved this performance. I love the drama. Bring me the drama, girl. I don't care what, 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 who's a, what, what, what that man say? What's that? What's his name? Jimmy who? Forget him. Bring us some dramatics. You know what I'm saying? Nikki had to calm the audience before she could speak. They were going crazy. Then said it was a perfect choice for her and her voice sounded amazing. Randy said she had great dynamics going on. Mariah rambled on a lot about something or another. Then Keith said he loves a lot of what she does, but wanted her to lose herself in the song. And there you have it. Somebody's about to scream outside in my back. <laughs> screaming out in my hallway and I'm glad I got to at least finish this before they did. Tomorrow night the results show has performances by Casey James, Carrie Underwood, and of course the top seven. I am Robert Anton, robertanton.com. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. I am out. Peace. Oh, I didn't cut the thing back on. <laughs> I'm loving my new card. <laughs>